Hi, in this tutorial, I'll talk about how to add additional classes to section and some additional information using data attribute inside or using section metadata block. So how to create sections in document that I have already explained means how to create multiple section and how those sections are rendered in actual page that I have already explained. But at a high level, let me explain you one more time. So once you have you see this Google Docs where you can create different section by using either a insert horizontal line or three hyphens and these sections are rendered in page in different divs where each div had a specific class called section but if i want to add some additional classes to it if i want to add some additional information to it then how i'm going to do that let's say along with this class i need to add some additional classes here and i want to provide some additional information inside this section so that I can apply either some CSS or some rules to this entire section. Again, I'm talking about entire section, not a particular block. So how we do that? Let's say here I have four sections and my code means these sections are generated a HTML like this. This is out of the box, right? If I have container hero contain hero block here in this, so it will at least create this class, but if I want to write some additional classes, I want to add some additional classes here, then how I'm going to add those classes that I will explain here. And how do we do that then? So in this tutorial, I'll talk about how to add custom metadata. Custom metadata is not the right word, but how to add classes. They use this word metadata. That's why I'm using it. So in documentation that is being used, but how to add additional classes to a particular section, how to add some specific information, additional information using data attributes, right? Yes, we add using data attributes. So, and we use section metadata block for it. You don't need to create this block. This is already available. You just need to add a block in each section. Now let's have a demo and see how we do that actually. So here I have very simple document, which has two sections. If you see here, first section, I just wrote one heading and a text. Then I added three hyphens here and later on I added two additional text. So because of this has a hyphen. So this page is means this document is divided into two sections, one upper section and lower section. So if I render this page, means if I preview or publish, you will see this. There are two sections, two div has been generated. This one, first div and the second div. Now, let's say I want to apply some color or some classes to this entire section. Tomorrow I can have a number of blocks and data here means content here, but I want to apply some class, some CSS to entire section. So how we gonna do that? In that case, what can I do? I add some additional classes at the top of my section and section starting here. So how you gonna do that? Now, there's a, you can write some code, but this code is not available. It means it's, it's, there's a, some other way how you can do it. So one way or recommended way is you can add a block called section metadata and how you gonna do that let me do that so create a table here and put a name means create a table for block and put a name section metadata so you see here i added a table and inside table name of that block is section metadata and i added a class here means row here and the key for that row is means I created two columns. First column contain this word style. So this specific, you have to add this only. So style and the name here, whatever the value of this means, whatever the value of second column that will be added as a class to this section. Again, this is one block per section. So every time, let's say you have want to add to multiple sections. So you have to create this block for each section. So what is happening here in my first section, I added this block for adding section metadata and style is yellow and in section style is orange. So I have already added a class for it. I have already added a code 
as soon as I add this class, the background color of this section will be effective. So let me show you that. So this is simple, very simple classes I have added here. If it is aqua, the background color will be aqua means as per as per the class means orange, yellow, same the background color I have been added here. Right now, let me publish this here. Let me quickly save and publish preview. Let me close this. I'll check on my local because code is on my local. So if I refresh this, see the color has been applied, but why it is happening now, if I check again, those sections in HTML page. So what you see here, main and see the additional classes yellow has been added. And for the second orange has been added because I added those inside uh, my section block you can add number of classes means additional classes so let me add one more thing here so comma and if you want to add some other classes you can add as well you can add any number of classes here so what i want i want a different text color so for that i wrote a additional class so what i'll do i'll add this class here white hyphen text this will make text is equal to white so let me add it quickly and this one let me write it actually And let me quick this publish. Oh, let me refresh this. So you see the text has been become white now. So you see two classes has been added now for the first section. If I go here in main, you see here yellow and white text. So as number of the classes you want to add, you can add it here. There is only one catch, right? So here in this doc, you should ask with comma if you leave it blank means if you add a space in between so that space will be replaced by hyphen so as number of classes you want to add add a space here but in some cases in real time cases what do you want you want some information here for this particular section like you see here data hyphen section status so if i want to add a additional information using data attributes how i gonna do that so that is also pretty simple and you can do it using the same block so what you can do let's add a additional row here insert a row below and say uh, author author and just say name this and let's say cms here one more just just for to show you let's say cms and it's a am right simple very simple now publish this uh, let me publish this preview and close this and check the local one. So now what you should see, you should see two additional data attribute in my first section. You see here data hyphen author means author was my key and name value was Sunil and same CMS AEM. So what did you understand from this inside this section block? Other than the style, other than the style keyword you use, whatever you add other than this, all will be added as a data attribute. Only the style you which actually add the classes. So that's how you can add those additional information and classes to your section. Uh, this was very quick and simple, but still, if you have any question, add your comment. Thank you.